given given other <laughs> given honor and glory to Almighty God. I must say a pleasant good morning to all families and friends. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Despite of this situation here today, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we all should still rejoice and be glad in it. This morning, our dearly departed sister, Sister Hannah Clark, are responsible for us of being here this morning. And you know, this morning I want to ask you to swing your heart or wide you open and let Jesus come in so you'll be able to have a sup. Not a part-time sup, but an everlasting sup. So this morning I want to ask you all, you know, let us be in one accord. It's not about religion this morning, but it's about giving one another that strength, that courage, and building a brick upon a brick. So I want to ask you all that, you know, if you know the song, feel free to sing. If you don't know the song, be free to la la. And make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. This morning we would like to go start our divine service. We're starting with the hymn, Amazing Grace. How sweet the song. That save a wretch like me. I just say that save a child like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Amen. Oh, most 
must be full and loving God. Father God, this present time, this present hour, O oh Master God, as we come before you with no strength and power of our own, because all strength and power come from thee. Master God, this present time, we pray and ask you, O oh God, for first strength and courage, O oh God. Help us to get the, the strength, O oh God, and the courage that we will be able to go through this ceremony, this service. On, in honor of our dearly departed sister, Hannah Clark. In no other name I ask, but only in Jesus' almighty name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Scripture reading. Praise the Lord. shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by thee, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at the moon. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuse, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Lest thou dash thy foot against his stool, thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. The, long, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on the feet, because he has set his love upon thee. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he had known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. I will honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, one with our death. We now would like to go into the song, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. We are telling God, I'm so glad you in my life and I'm so glad you came to save us and then it said you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross and we are telling them my debt you pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky Lord we lift your name on high let us all Blend our voices together. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth. Lord, I live. 
We now like to go into the eulogy. things I've ever had to do. My name is Rhonda Clark, and on behalf of the rest of the family, we would like to thank everyone for being here today to celebrate her life. Some of you may have known her as Hannah, Miss Hannah, Tanti Hannah, but we know her as Mommy. Hannah Clark was born in 9th of March, 1939, in the beautiful island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. There she met my lovely grandfather, Mr. Victor Clark, or Clarky. They had 15 children together, 16 grandchildren, and 10 plus more great-grandchildren. To me and the rest of the family, she was sympathetic, a no-nonsense person, nurturing, generous, caring, organized, and a stubborn woman. Mommy was unbelievably compassionate. Her heart and her generosity knew no bounds. Her door to her home was always open, and she rarely locked it. You could walk in and people often did. Neighbors, friends, immediate family and relatives knew they had a place to stay. If you came from St. Vincent with nowhere else to go, you stayed in the house at Dillon Street. If you or your family were displaced for some reason or other, you had a, at least had a place to stay. I remember going to Thanksgiving with mommy and the eldest grandchildren. We had real fun. As grandchildren, we always had more snacks in our goodie bags to go home with because mommy always packing something extra in our bags. <laughs> our bags were the biggest bags there. And we were very happy. If Tony was here, he would could attest to this. And her favorite line is, it will never happen. Every time we ask her for something, or we ask her if we're taking something of hers, she would always say, it will never happen. Mommy and Daddy would have celebrated 51 years of marriage this past Sunday. She loved her husband with her whole heart. Every morning when Daddy used to go to work, she would wake up, prepare a meal, pack it so that he would have lunch to go with. She loved watching WWE with Atiba and Tony. Her favorite wrestlers were Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, and The Taker. She traveled to Canada once to spend time with her son Lennox and his family. There, she worked for about five years, being a caregiver to families, and loved going to garage sale because she loved to catch a good sale. <laughs> she would also call Melly Melda Peng. She alone had that name, she understood that name, but she would call Melly Melda Peng. Mommy loved baking, especially sponge cake, bake, and fried bake. Going up in Dillon Street every Sunday, after lunch, when she done take her baths, mommy would iron everybody's clothes, from daddy to the last one she ironing clothes. Apart from baking, her favorite meal was breastbone and neck. She loved the breastbone and neck with fried bake. Every minute for mommy was a breastbone and a neck. On Sundays, when we were in Dillon Street, we couldn't go to play unless we shell peas, shell pigeon peas with her. She had a bag of snacks in the cupboard, for us grandchildren, we would know. She had a bag of snacks in the cupboard. 
and we could never ask mommy for anything because she would never give us anything. And I don't know if anybody know where she hide the keys. Or you remember where she hide the keys? In her breast. She hide the keys in her breast or uh, under the carpet next to her bed. <laughs> so that's why you can never get any kind of snacks unless she open the cupboard and give her it. Give us it. Mommy was a, was determined, but yet also strong, even down to the very end. Visiting her at the hospital within the last week after the surgery, she did not complain not once. Mommy always said she was praying, she was never in pain, and she was fighting to hold on. Her laugh was perfect, her smile was perfect, her hugs and her kisses. She was a perfect grandmother and mother, and we all were a little closer to perfection to have her in our lives. We love you, and we will, be, we will miss you, Mommy. Praise the Lord. At this time, we would like to open the floor for tributes. Anyone who wish to come up and share something with us, or to give one another that encouragement. Yeah. Because you know, in times like these, we need a savior. Yeah. In times like these, we need a friend. Yeah. In times like these, we need an anchor. So this time, we would like to open the floor for anyone who wish to come to give words of encouragement or, or to share something or to sing something or anything you have desire. Anyone? Good morning once again. Thank you all for coming to celebrate the life of Hannah Craft, which is my mom and Deborah, her second daughter. My mom. How should I put it? She was something else. Although she was miserable any time, but she was a nice person. Amen. You could have go by her and say, Mommy, where you big today? You come here to catch your head or what? <laughs> Mommy, you make muffin, you make cake, you make bread. Here, look at this. And don't come back here. I want you to tell me. You understand? Other than that, when she's friends, many of them pass, come, and they come to drink their coffee and lunch. Be glad just to go and play. She was like, go on, go on, go on. You know what I mean? Other than that, she was a loving grandmother to her grandchildren. Everybody will go, Granny! And they come back down, they come back down with a two liter soft drink and a bag of snacks. She always have that for her children. Well, Gerald, Cheeks, Adesia, Renaya, Rahim, Polly. Everybody going up and get a bag and come back down. And don't touch nothing in the house. Don't touch that. If anybody make a issue, I have a little deal with whatever well, be shit. That is how she was. She was a loving mother to her children. Despite her little thoughts on him. Never mind that we put her behind. She's gone. We have to keep strong. She will be sadly missed. But we have to keep strong. She will be there in our hearts and in our mind until the day we pass. We have no more worries. We are here in the land of the living and we have all the trials and tribulations here. There, up there, with her father in heaven. Watching them upon us. She's right here. Those who are not here, her son Lennox Clark, his wife Rachel Morris Clark, her granddaughter Sinead Reed, and her grandson Atiba, her next son Jeffrey is not here, but they are here in spirit and in truth. We're celebrating with her. Mommy, may you rest in peace. And we love you. Thank you. Amen. Some of the young ones might know me or might, might remember me, but I'm, I'm 
run the mom. Because you don't need it. You have a mom. And I must say that um, I was with one of her son, one who had passed away. Yes, I go and run. That was just a year and some months. And the time I spent there with the family, I must say, the son was very, very nice to me. And she's a nice woman. And, and even when um, Rhonda, Rhonda was, um, when I made Rhonda, she always wanted to, every single thing, always wanted to buy. I couldn't sometimes get a chance was to buy anything. You know, because if I think about buying something, I have to discuss it with the son. Next minute, Bob would just came. You know what I mean? So sometimes if I had to buy things, I had to just keep it on the low. Because she was that kind of person. She was very caring. And even though I have my life now, I'm married now, I have my life, I have my, my family, everything. But I just couldn't sit down there and just, just let the moment pass. But I'm, it wouldn't bother me. So I just want to say, you know, Miss Anna was a very, very nice person. And it brought nice to always still go by her, in spite of whatever, she used to always still go by her. You know, I never stopped that, and we couldn't stop that anyhow. You know, because that is their child. And I must, I just had to say, you know, uh, the family just need to keep together, you know, continue loving one another and share the love with one another and support each other still. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Lance Clark. Clark. I uh, just want to say thank you, Mom. Thank you for everything that you did for me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for giving me all your time. Thank you for sharing my life, my family life with you. And I miss you. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. I don't know when this I don't know when this pain gonna stop, but And it's so I met um, Hannah. I can't believe that I was here about two weeks ago speaking to Hannah. We talking and so about her for Victor and all of this. I came to look for Victor and I was surprised to see how he was because Victor helped on my house. 
helped to build my house. And whenever my husband gave me trouble, I used to reach expensive for this thing a little to do. All right, so how I met Hannah is when I used to go up Dillon Street to share my problems with Victor. And then he used to work with my cousin in Eligo Avenue, Mr. Short, who was, who was the boss on the docks. So last week, I can't believe, last, two weeks ago I was here, and Hannah and I, I came to see Victor, and Hannah and I chatted, and we chatted, and she told me all how she, about Canada, and how she used to, to work, and what used to go on, and all of that. Because when she was in Canada, I used to visit Victor and Victor building that big wall, that stone wall up by, up by that house up there. And I can't believe that when I hear the news, Sister Anne told me, um, Hannah in hospital. I said, what? I couldn't believe Anne to hear that she passed away. But God knows best. Because we will say this and say that, but when your number call, you have to go. And I just want to sympathize with the family and that you all keep together children great grand great great grand keep because Hannah was a very nice person if she passing in the road and I nearby and you know and I, I really will miss her and she was looking for a house for me because I told her girl I fed up on the hill I live in up Mosa Road and I make steps and all that. I fed up up the hill and the, the circulation is giving me a problem. My mama was here. Okay. She said, you know, somebody have a house there. No, but when she told me the problem, I said, I family problem. I po -wo. I not going there. So she said, you know, I would look for something else for you. I know Hannah gone. But God knows best. So I just want to sympathize with the family that she no pain again, no sickness, and God knows best. Her number called, so she had to go. Yeah. Right? So give God the praise and the glory and honor. She was really a nice person. Hi everyone, hope you guys are hearing me loud and clear. Um, I'm Bisa Ryan, granddaughter of Hannah, and I'm the daughter of Granddy Ryan, her firstborn in St. Vincent. Um, my dad is sad because we cannot be there to be with his siblings, and more so He's even sad because she passed away on his birthday. <laughs> what a way to go out, huh? Um, my grandmother was a strong woman. I could testify to that because many say I'm like her. Many say I take after her and I now know why. Because of all her grandchildren, I'm the only one who have twins just like her. Today, my dad, my other siblings, we are all sad because we cannot be there. And to our other, our, my uncles, my aunts there in Trinidad, we are here praying for everybody. She was loved by everybody. I loved her. In 2015, my last contact with her was when I was traveling to the UK, I passed through Trinidad and I spent the day. That memory I would forever hold. Although we were in contact with each other like on a regular basis, it felt like if, you know, we, we were always in contact and I appreciated that. We love her. We would always remember her. And may her soul rest in peace. Thank you. Morning, everyone. 
I am Andrew Lewis, the Sun family at the Clarks. Ms. Hannah was my mother's best friend and the Sun family. My mom was Ms. Stella Lewis. To those who may know Ms. Stella, and to those who I don't know, I appreciate you all time sharing with the family. Um, this is really a big family. I've always claimed that I'm a Vincentian because the love Vincentian people have. Because my mom was a Vincentian and I was proud to be one of his Hannah's son, outside son. Um, this is a lot of pain to me, tremendously. Um, there's also a lot of there's also a lot of pain that Lennox isn't here and have to go through this again. And I know it hurts a lot of us, even Big Brother Dennis here can't keep himself together because she has been a tremendous inspiration to a lot of, well, we are old men now, but we were little children to her. You know, and we are glad to come to celebrate this moment. It's supposed to be a moment of joy, but God knows how people can celebrate death. You know, I ask that we be very mindful of this moment. It took me a while to come and see Miss Hannah, and I was here for her birthday. Um, and this is really hard for me because it's not something I expected but I want us to be very conscious today we could be here and we could be nowhere on this earth tomorrow let us be mindful of God Almighty we can't live for ourselves and we can't live for the moment God allow all things and I thank God that her life has been a tremendous memory to us and a tremendous strength. But let us, the living ones, remember that God is forever and he's here for all of us. And she was a very strong church-going woman and I know she would prefer us to give our lives to God. Thanks a lot for the moment. This time, we would like to go into the next hymn, You Raise Me Up. I might think it's some good as y'all, but I want to ask y'all to please, those who know the song, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When I am down. I know my soul so weary When troubles come And my heart will Then I am still And wait in the silence Until you come And sit a while with me His name is high. 
in council. And Satan and his other devils flee when they hear the name Jesus. Brethren, my sermon going to be very easy and simple today. And you know, this is a scripture that I, I hold to my heart very dearly. According to John chapter 14, verse 1, it simply says, To let not your heart be troubled. Today, some are sick and some are sad. Some have lost the love they had. Some have never taught to love. Some are in the bed of affliction and men in the lonesome graveyard. It's because God is no respecter of person. Jesus said, I'm going to pull on the mighty from the seats, and I'm going to exalt the humble and meek. I'm going to fill the hungry with good things, and the rich he send them empty away. And you know, in John 14, he says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you. And one of the hymn writers, some writers sang, In my father's house, there are many mansions, yeah. In my father's house, in my father's house, in my father's house, there are many mansions, yeah. In my father's house, and I, glory, hallelujah, happy, Happy, happy we shall be, oh yes, and happy, happy, happy we shall be, happy, happy, happy we shall be, in my Father's house on high. Praise the Lord. And Jesus said, I go and prepare a place for you, that way of there you may be also. I like the reason why one of the songwriters wrote, Jesus going to be there, look a mansion for me, far, far away, over land still. No crying, no weeping, no sorrow, no pain. Jesus going to be there, look a mansion for me. Gretchen, you know, when we, 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 we go to the little party and the little function, you know, we just clap and we just dance and we just have a good time. So now we are gathering the presence of the Lord. I want to ask you to clap and to sing and to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. Some free day, I'm going away. I want to leave this world. No more to run. Africa. Here yeah, now, why when a baby born or you just cry, um, cry and, and you know, and in sorrow. And when someone die or you just rejoice, they say, watch now. You see when a baby born, they study all these things they have to go through in life. They study all the pain and suffering they have to go through. All the trials and tribulations. All the ups and downs. But you see when they die, it's no more pain. No more sorrow, no more bills to pay, nothing anymore. 
But the Holy Ghost tell me everything's gonna be alright. The Holy Ghost tell me everything's gonna be alright. The Holy Ghost tell me everything's gonna be alright. Be alright, be alright, be alright. The Holy Ghost tell me everything gonna be alright. And if you trust and obey. There's no other way for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to be happy with us. We must trust and obey. And it's alright to cry. It's alright to weep. Because weeping may jump for a while, but joy comes in the morning. I remember one day, a point in time, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ also went with his best friend. One day, Jesus' best friend Lazarus got sick. And Lazarus' two sisters, Mary and Martha, heard where Jesus was. And they went and said, Lord, our brother, which is your best friend Lazarus, are sick. And Jesus turned and told them, I'm on my father's business. So he never went. But after four days, Lazarus already died. Jesus decided to go with his very disciples and followers. I say, I'm never going to put my best friend as us. You know, he fall asleep. But when Mary heard that Jesus came, she was so upset over Jesus. Because when the best friend as us was alive, they never came to look for him. But when he died now, four days after, they come in to say what? So Mary decided that she don't want to see Jesus, she don't want to hear about Jesus. But Lazarus' other sister Martha went to hear what Jesus has to say. And Jesus said, Martha, where's your other sister Mary? Go and fetch her and come. And when Mary and Martha went to Jesus, they both began crying and weeping. And they said, Lord, if you were here, our brother Lazarus would have never died. And Jesus started to cry. He started to weep. And Jesus looked up to the heavens and he said, Father, I know that thou art with me always, but for the sake of thy people. And Jesus looked to the tomb and compelled Lazarus to come forth. And Lazarus awoke again from the dead. And he began to shake his hands from the dirty sleep. And he began to walk on the tomb. And his very own family and friends began running away from him. Because they all knew that he was lying in that tomb there for the past four days. So, a question. If our dearly departed sister decided to raise up now, how many of you are going to remain? You know? Because everybody knows that she's lying here. You know? But I want to tell you all, just a life and death are one. It is the same how the, the river and the stream are one. Yeah. And all you got to do is have faith. Yeah. Have faith as a mustard seed. And once you have that faith, that one day, on that great judgment day, on the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you're going to see our dearly beloved sister again. Amen. You're going to hear, come ye blessed, inherit the kingdom of God. I want to tell you, brethren, I don't want to be too lengthy. But you know, I want to take this time to tell you all about baptism. Because baptism is very important. Because I don't know Sister Hannah. But I'm sure if Sister Hannah was here, she would have told you something encouraging about church wise and serving God. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you know, one day. Jesus went 72 miles and went to his cousin John and said, John, I indeed need water baptism. But John, knowing that Jesus is the reader of hearts and the search of minds, who sees and knows all things, John said, Master, I'm not even worthy to have lost in the of my feet. And Jesus said, John, do this now, for that's the command of us to fulfill all righteous. And there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. One night, Nicodemus went to Jesus and said, Rabbi, which means master. He said, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. 
For what you are doing, no man could do these miracles except God be with him. And Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So imagine you're watching a big man and telling them about born again. You know, so they will get confused. So, look at him and say, How can a man be born when he's already old? Can he enter second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus said, What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel, I say unto you, you must be born again. So, baptism is very important. And you know, that when you apply for sin a man, the raising of sin is yes. death, and the gift of God is eternal life. So death, don't apply for Sister Hannah. You know? Death, this is just the body, you know? You know, we just get so accustomed. You know? There are three things. It has the body, it has the soul, and it has the spirit. And the body is the shell, the transportation, the vehicle. You know? To move around from point A to point B and to communicate with carnal people. Although the Bible says a carnal mind is enmity against God. But when you are spiritually minded, God gives you a special gift, which is eternal life. So this is the body. The body is the flesh. The soul, in the beginning, when God breathed into man's nostrils, they became a living soul. And the spirit is the breath of God. So when you die, the body destroy, you know, because the body no longer have use, and the soul go back to wait for judgment, and the spirit, which is the breath of God, goes back to Almighty God. Praise the Lord. So this is just a shell here. This is not Sister Hannah here. This is just Sister Hannah body, but Sister Hannah already gone. To that prepared place, Jerusalem, my happy home, be never dear to me. Jerusalem, the street of gold and pearl. Praise the Lord. So I want to tell you, brethren, let not your heart be troubled, but put all your faith and trust in Almighty God, which are the reader of hearts and the searcher of mind, who sees and knows all things. Where death meets you, just when God to find us. Praise the Lord. And I'll come along with this little story here. You know, there was a rich man and a poor man. And one day, you know how it is to be rich, you have everything. And when you're poor, you, you don't really have nothing much. So one day, that came, I went to the rich man and knocked on the door. That said, see, you are coming for you tomorrow at 12 o'clock, eh? The rich man said, oh, me? He said, yes, I'm coming for you tomorrow at 12 o'clock. So when that gone out, the rich man ran across the road and tell any poor man, hey, you know, you want to see how that be like to be rich? I have an idea. You take my house and I take your house. Because the rich man know that that come and pay the next day. So when that came the next day now, instead of that go by the rich man's house, to go by the poor man's house. He said, hey, you know, I come for the man next door, eh? But as I hear, I will take you one time. So the moral of the story is where death meet us, just when God define us. One day, that came for this man. And that telling the man, hey, I come for you, you know. He said, you come for me? He said, yeah, I come for you, you know. But me and you here. That said, no, you have to be ready. Would you be ready when the bridegroom come? Would you be ready when the bridegroom come? When the morning do not knock and the stars are shining bright, would you be ready when the bridegroom come? So the man said, "Death will death me when it's going on." So that said, "Will you have to go?" So the man said, Dad, I can offer you a glass of coffee. Dad said, well, okay, I have a little time. So uh, the man making the coffee for death for now and decided to sleep in pills on it. <laughs> so when Dad drink the coffee now, Dad drop asleep. So the man take death list of names and he scratch the name from the top of the list and write the name to the bottom of the list. 
So when get wake up now, you say, hey, hey, you give me coffee, and I drop to sleep. You what going on? For you tell me so nice, you what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to move your name from the top of the list, and I'm going to put it to the bottom of the list. So you see? Sometimes you do doing things, and you tell yourself, nobody in seeing. You know? But God always watching them. And when the death meters, judgment going to find us. So brethren, I urge you, you know, let us try to be like our brother Paul. Paul was the only man who stopped death and said, death wait with authority. And Paul began to write a letter. And he said, I have kept the faith. I have run the race. And I know that there is a crown awaiting for me in glory. All oh, death, where is thy sting? And all oh, grave, where is thy victory? So, we have to try to live good. You know, because now the green lime falling off the tree and even the ripe lime. Yes. You know, so many youths going at our early age. You know? So we have to try to love one another. You know? Because in First John chapter 4, Jesus said, How can you love me who you cannot see but you hate your brother and your sister? Jesus said that if you don't love your brother and your sister who you can see, you cannot love me, my Lord thy God. God said the Lord thy God. So, you have to love one another. So, I've asked a question. Are you love your enemies? Yes, yes, yes. You love your enemies, but they don't love the things that they do. Okay? So, I pray that Almighty God continue to be with you all. And you all go out and come in. Yes. And this is the way the master went. Yes. And we the servant must try the same. And in coming down, I want to remind you all that let yeah, me try to get away from this thing. You know? It's only for wedding and, 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 and funeral. You really see people really coming together now. You know? But I want to tell you that life goes on. It ain't gonna hurt to pick up your phone. Hey, you know, how we doing? Everything all right? Pass a little, a little five minutes. You know, sometimes you're, you're going through so, so much stress and thing. And just the thought of somebody take that time to call you to check on you. Or, or you know, to come to check on you to make sure all is well. You know, that alone could put a, a smile on your face and make you feel good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank Almighty God. Um, for you all, um, thank God for Mr. Tyler, like my boss from Denny's funeral home. And you know, sometimes it takes some something or somebody for you to know something or know someone. And I want to tell you all, you know, let me appreciate one another. And as I always say, don't wait until I die. So come and bring nice roots to me. And to come and tell me you love me. You know? I like now. So tell me. Because when I die, I can't hear you. I have eyes I can't see. I have ears I can't hear. So you know, let me show that appreciation to one another. This is the way the master went. And we the servant must straight the same. Praise the Lord. My name is Bishop Mugabe Pierre. I am from the School of St. Francis Church. At number two, Monipo Road, Mova, opposite Monipo Basketball Court. My church is every Sunday um, from 9 a.m. All is welcome. It's not about religion, but what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Because when you die, it do have Pentecostal, it do have no religion. You know, all that we fighting for, we can't carry anything. Praise the Lord. You can go to heaven, it's a carnal man. You can go to heaven with a carnal man. You can go to heaven with a carnal man. The carnal man has to stay behind. You can go to heaven with a carnal man. I'd like to ask that you want to please stand away so we can offer a word of prayer.
Mr. Mrs. Charles and his little neighbor, my friend. Current oh, our head in prayer. Oh Father God, thank you for being so still, Lord. Yes. Look down upon us as the day goes by. Remember the children and them not be with family this time and oh God. Look down upon them the good and they come in you, Father God, for you, please. Bless their heart and soul this time and oh Lord. Bring them together, Lord, oh Father God, I ask you, Lord. Mercy this time and oh Lord, mercy in our total prayer. Father, come with us, Lord. When you are about to take this fire this time and oh Lord, in the name of the Jesus Almighty, Lord. May the, the dead soul rest in peace, Lord. This time and oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. We like to go into the last hymn. Hear my cry, O Lord. As we are singing this song, um, we're going to um, view for all those who wish to view the body. And then we will be going down to Devo Martin. Um, African side cemetery. Okum Street. Okum Street. Praise the Lord. There's something you tell me, right? Excuse me, I'm a little tight on me. Praise the Lord. Yeah, my cry, oh Lord. I tell and do my prayer. Oh, my God. 
Like that thing like again trouble.
Let's put on this side now because it's sliding. No, then we'll move down. Then we'll move down. Then we'll move down this side. We are there slide. All the, yeah. uh, we did them with that. Then we'll do it here. Director for Denny's Funeral Home. I'd like to say on behalf of Denny's Funeral Home, we'd like to express our deepest sympathy and our most sincere condolences to all of your friends, family, and well wishers on the passing of Miss Hannah Clark. We really pray and hope that God provide you with strength and support in this time of bereavement. And we also want to thank you all for choosing us to deliver this service to you all in this time. And we really hope that we'd have comfort you all by the services we'd have delivered. We'd have seen that Miss Hannah Clark was well loved and well known by the gathering here today. And at this point, what we're going to do, we're going to have a brief viewing, just about three minutes before burial, due to the inclement weather that he's experiencing. But before we do that, we're going to ask his son, and he would nominate his other brothers and close family members. And what we did, we brought two birds, 
And we're gonna let go these birds. And the reason we let go these birds is goes to show that Miss Hannah Clark is no longer here with the worries of this life. She doesn't have to worry about waking up tomorrow and studying anything. She doesn't have to worry about her children stressing out. But her spirit is just as free as these birds that are going up into the sky. There are some light refreshments provided by us there for y'all in the cooler. And we ask that y'all please partake of it. Don't be bashful, don't be shy. It's free. <laughs> some people have already started taking it before we reach. <laughs> Right? So at this point we ask that, so we're going to let go the birds first okay, and after yeah. we let go the birds then we'll go into the short viewing. Right? So we ask the children to line on the side of the casket. Children. Children. Grandchildren. Come on the side, come on the side. If you all want any pictures or anything, you all will um... You all have to stand on the side. I'll tell you something about these birds, right? These birds belong to us, so they find their way directly back to Belmont. Right? Yes. So don't squeeze our birds too tight. Pull it two hands, huh? Yo, pull it two hands. Yeah, to meet up. Come on, this one. Yeah. <laughs> so what I want you all to do, the rest of you all who are here. Go tell them on you. No, no, you gotta do that. Just stand right here. Oh, right there. Yeah. All right. What I want you all to do, I want you all to give them a count of three. Okay. And on that count of three, they're gonna let go these birds, right? Can you have your right, So can I have you and divide that tension, please? And on that count of three, they're gonna let go these birds. And now I want you all to do. Shout out whatever you would have called Miss Anna Clark as loud as possible. And after we do that, we're gonna take a minute and have total silence. And in that minute, I just want you all to think of all the fun times you would have spent with Miss Anna Clark, all the good conversations, all the counseling that she'd have given you all. So we're gonna give her a minute of full respect of total silence. So you're coming together. So they're waiting on your count. You count to three, and after that count, you're going to let go these birds, shout out whatever you would have called her, whether it be granny, mommy, whatever you would have called her, and then after that, immediately into a minute of silence. So, return on your count, guys. One, two, three! Yeah. 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 Silence, silence, silence. So we're now going to that minute of silence and remember and remember in that minute you all are going to think about all the fun times all the times Miss Anna would have counseled you all right so everyone we now have a minute of total silence for Miss Hannah Clark Yeah, so rest in peace. Amen. And I mean, it is very long. Mm -hmm. But when you concentrate on it, mm -hmm. you realize how long. So we now have a short, a brief viewing. And after which, we go into um, go for burial. Excuse me? I'll pass it.
Nah, that's four. That's four. That's
Answer the no song, unless that great trumpet song. Answer the no cause, unless the son of the true living God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Answer to no witchcraft. Answer to no sorcery. Because it's like great judgment day. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the Son of the true and living God. I, Bishop Mugabe Pierre, do command you and a clap body to the earth. Wind with wind. Water with water, fire with fire, ashes for ashes, dust for dust, all labor runs spent and be spent. It's a joy to do the master way. This is the way the master went, and you see we must try the same. Oh, great Elenji, let us to see my Messiah, Jaji, Oba, Jara, Alpha, Omega, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. When Jesus calls me, I will answer. I will answer to my name when Jesus calls me. I will answer. I will answer to my name. There will be from where sleeping, from where sleeping, from where sleeping in the rain. There will be some. Somewhere we burn, somewhere we burn, somewhere we burn in the rain. Praise the Lord. They'll just have to step off the green mat so that they can get the dirt. Yeah.
Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's I put it back before I did. I put it back before I did. I put it back before I did. I put it Yeah. 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 Yeah.